But it's but not even a... Skill that was from Pizarro. And now Higuain is turning in for Carranza. Can they go for five anyway? They have! That one should count! Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to Miami Total Football. It's the end of Saturday night, actually going into Sunday morning here at Drive Pink Stadium in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where Inter Miami posted the biggest victory in franchise history. Yes, three days after doing so with a 3-0 victory against Toronto FC, Inter Miami outdoes itself with a 5-1 mauling of FC Cincinnati. Inter Miami wins yet again another goal fest for the fans who you heard chanting Ole towards the end. A lot of Ole chants which made for a very festive and fun atmosphere here at Drive Pink Stadium. And it gives Inter Miami the win that keeps it in the fight for a playoff spot. They live to fight another day. Three games left in the season. Inter Miami is five points shy of the playoff line in the Eastern Conference. Still a tough task, still a big challenge for them to close that gap and get there, but they've given themselves a chance. They stay in the hunt for that playoff spot with this big victory. Uh, we're really pleased. Uh, it's, a, it's a time where we've asked for performance and action. And I think the players are giving, giving everything, giving that. I think coming back to uh, Drive Pink Stadium in front of our supporters, I thought the crowd tonight was sensational. Uh, it was a real, it was a real uh, enjoyment to our play, uh, which I thought was really good. Uh, and what I asked them before the game is, is they've just got to keep believing. We know what it takes to win, and they've got to go out there and 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 produce brilliant moments. And I think they did that. Uh, we were suffer too much in the last stretch of the season. Um, these two victories give us hope, give us. Uh, strength to to compete and and see what happens in the next in the next uh, three games now diving into the match there were a lot of good performances in this one obviously the collective is probably the most notable given that inter miami scored five goals only gave up one got the win so a lot of things to talk talk about from this match but let's start with gonzalo higuain because for me he was the best player on the field and it was, like Inter Miami, a tale of two halves for him. Because in the first half, I thought he looked a bit eager, a bit anxious, trying to make things, trying to make plays, and they just weren't coming off for him, whether it was shots or passes. He just looked like he was pushing or, or pressing the issue. And in the second half, you saw a completely different player. Not only does he score the game winner with a great header off of a feed from Federico Higuain, his brother, but he also played in sublime through balls, a number of them to help set up other goals. And look, everyone joined in on the fun practically, or a lot of players joined in on the fun practically in terms of the scoring department because you saw Julian Carranza score his first of the season. You saw Lewis Morgan score for the first time since early on in the year. You saw Federico get another goal, his second in as many games at the start of the match. And you saw Indiana Vasilev also get on the board. So it was a goal fest and Inter Miami got contributions from everywhere, which was a good note. But again, going back to Gonzalo Higuain, he had a hand in a lot of the goals, even the first one. And, and he gets a credit in MLS by MLS stats for the secondary assist. A great ball he plays in behind into space for Rodolfo Pizarro. Pizarro just gets to it and he's able to whip in the cross that Federico Higuain heads home for the opener. Inter Miami gave up an equalizer later in the first half and, and it ended up pretty even that, that those first 45 minutes because Cincinnati created quite a few chances themselves but it ended in a one-to-one -one draw and then Gonzalo Higuain took over with a masterful performance and a, a very good performance and one that had him earning the plaudits or much of them after the match. It would be great for Gonzalo to, to play 10 and then actually run onto the pass that he gives because his weight of pass is that good that he would love probably someone to play the same pass to him. And, uh, and, and that's, that's, I thought he was world class, I've got to say. I know I've praised Pizarro and Fede, but ultimately when Gonzalo plays well, the team plays well. So uh, we need him to have 
You think about Wednesday night in Atlanta, we need him to be world-class. We need him to be Gonzalo from Juventus, from Napoli, from Chelsea, from Real Madrid. We need we need that big performance. Now two other players that also fared well in this one were Rolfo Pizarro and Federico Higuain. Now Rolfo Pizarro didn't get on the score sheet, but like I mentioned before, he got the assist on Federico Higuain's opener and he looked much sharper than he has for much of his time with Inter Miami. Now, he wasn't picture perfect, he wasn't perfect, but a lot of the plays he tried, a lot of the moves he tried to do, they came off for him in this one, and this was a good step in the right direction for him. As for Federico Higuain, he continues to show that he belongs in this starting lineup because, again, he got another goal, second in two games, and he also got the game-winning assist by finding Gonzalo Higuain with a sublime cross, a great cross that Gonzalo Higuain nods home with a plum, clinical finish, a great goal, and that was that's what ultimately what gave Inter Miami the win. And Phil Neville was full of praise once again for Federico Higuain after the match, not only because of what he provided on the field, but just because of what he provides in the day to day with his experience and his leadership. When that ball came in the box, the last person you you think can go and head the ball is is Fede because probably one of the smallest players on the pitch, but you think back to his goal against Philadelphia, uh, rolls above everyone to score away in Philadelphia. His timing, his awareness, his experience. In, in a way, there's no way he should be starting a game of football, you know, at maybe at his age, but his enthusiasm, his experience, and his know-how. In these types of games, when it's about the quality, he's... He, he gives, he makes other players around him better. He makes Gonzalo better, Lewis better, Rodolfo better, Gregory, Jay Chapman, Blaze. So he's a sensational uh, professional, and uh, we are we are so happy to have him. Naturally, you could feel there was a festive vibe at Drive Tank Stadium after this one. The music from Inter Miami's locker room was blaring through the thin walls, and we could hear all all the different songs that were being played, even during the press conferences when Phil Neville and Federico Higuain we're speaking and you can just see that the vibe is much different and it's obvious but when the team wins everything around the, uh, the team the mood everything changes and that's what Inter Miami hasn't had enough of this year and they're, they're finding it now here at the end and now it's about trying to continue this run of form during the final three games and seeing where the chips fall after that because Again, Inter Miami's destiny, its fate is not entirely in its own hands. Yes, there's nine points up for grabs, and yes, it's only five points shy of the playoff spot, but there are a lot of teams ahead of Inter Miami in the standings, including some that have games in hand. So it's vital, vital, it's imperative that Inter Miami continues to win, starting with Wednesday's game away to Atlanta United. Now, Inter Miami has posted eight goals in the last two games. That's great and obviously a, a welcome development, but the opposition is going to get a little bit more difficult. They're not going to be playing the two teams at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. They're going to be playing teams that are in the mix for those playoff spots and even those teams that are much higher than that. So the tests are going to get bigger for Inter Miami, but they'll head into these games with confidence, starting with Atlanta United on Wednesday. A huge game, a huge game. It could define what Inter Miami whether Inter Miami season is over or not. So it's a massive game. We'll see how Inter Miami does again on a short turnaround. Atlanta didn't play this weekend. So big test for Inter Miami, but one that they have to, have to try to get three points from if they want to have any chance of making the playoffs. We live to fight another day. We've got three games left now. We've got to keep believing. We've got to go to Atlanta and win. Nothing else. Uh, and and we've got... We've got the bit between our teeth and we're, we're enjoying the challenge at this moment in time. I think when, when, it, when we lost at Columbus, all of a sudden, all, all expectation came off us and, and we're playing with a total freedom. I think you can see that in our play and I think, uh, I think we go to Atlanta with total freedom. They're the favourites for the game. They probably think they can win the game easily and, uh, and we, will, we will go there with the same mentality. But that about does it for now. What did you think of Inter Miami's 5-1 victory over FC Cincinnati? Were you here at the stadium and are you elated still about the manner in which the team played, how emphatic they were in that second half and how convincing they were to, to blow this one open and post the biggest win in franchise history? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you thought about so many different players getting on the score sheet. Five different players scored goals. 
So that's obviously a, a big plus for the Herons in this one. And also let me know what you thought about the performances of Gonzalo Higuain, Federico Higuain, and Rodolfo Pizarro. Because again, thought they all had good games, as did most of the team. So let me know your thoughts. And as always, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll be back very soon to continue to review and analyze this big win, as well as the upcoming midweek match against Atlanta United at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. A huge game. Huge game. Can't overstate that at all because it is a huge game. So we'll be back very soon. I am Franco Panizo. This is Miami Total Football, and we'll see you guys again very, very soon.